beautiful people and welcome to your monthly guidance for May 2022 with me, Julie Paul. Thank you for being here. Truly appreciate your time on my channel. Thank you to all my lovely subscribers. And if you're new here, I'm Julie Paul, an intuitive hypnotherapist, author, Reiki master teacher. A few other bits. The link to me is in the description box below if you want to know more. There's also a link there if you would like to join the paid membership for my channel, which starts at just 99p. Up to you. The information is down below. So this is good for your sun, moon, rising, Venus and cross watching. Um, and I also wanted to say before we start, thank you so much for all your beautiful healing and well wishes when I had flu, chest infection in uh, the end of March. I really appreciate that. And also your well wishes for my son's wedding, which went amazingly. My daughter's wedding's coming up in a few weeks time. Hence the extensions in the hair and all the flashy look at the moment. Two children getting married six weeks apart. There with my um, new look. I'm loving it. But anyway, there we go. So without further ado, let's crack on and see what's going on for May 2022. Hello, my lovely Leos. How are you? I hope you are very, very well, my lovely people. Okie dokie. So what have we got going on for you for May? We've got the Hermit popping out there. Uh, we're going to take these Oracle cards as general energies. We're going to get some advice from the Oracle cards. And we're going to take three cards from that tarot deck for money and career. Okay, something flipped. What have we got? Okay, Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. What are you feeling stuck about, my lovelies? Let's have a look. Let's find out some more. Central Energy, Death. We like to see that next to the Eight of Swords because that's transformation. Stopping and blocking that blocked energy. Ace of Swords, there you go. There's your new beginning. And the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Okay. All right, this is looking good. And from the angels, please, what's the advice for my Leos for May? Thank you. We want that one as well. Receptivity and infinite potential. Okay, from the unicorns. All the cards I use are linked below, by the way, if you're interested. From the unicorns, we have the freedom of truth communicate honestly right from the wisdom of the oracle we'll get them all out and then we can look at the whole picture together okay come to the edge oh you're being asked to take a risk leap of faith now for money career business money career business for leos please money career business Faith, that's the Hierophant. Ten of coins. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And the two of ones. Well, Leo, this is looking really good. Okay. Right, so your central energy, my loves, is the death card. This is transformation. What is ending? To be able to open up to create a new beginning. Now, when we look at the rest of the cards here, right, what is ending? We have been in a stuck energy. We've been carrying too much burden and responsibility. We are wanting in our foundation a new beginning and to release this. And so this is beautiful when we see that death card in the middle because that is opening everything up and that enables you to come to the edge. This is it a card similar to the Fool, not quite, but similar. It's about have I got enough faith and trust to come right to the edge and look over the parapet rather than staying centred, uh, centre in the middle where it's safe. Don't want to go too far that way or too far that way. It's a bit scary. This is having faith to say I'm going to come right to the edge and have a look and I'm going to be prepared to take a risk. So this is a confidence, self-belief card and we've got the faith card there with it as well. So we have the faith to move forward because the angels are saying to you in May Leo 
you will have this energy around you where you are open to your infinite potential that you are in an energy of receptivity which is beautiful this is i am open to receiving guidance help support serendipity whatever i need in order to reach my infinite potential so something that was blocking with that death card there something that was blocking my potential from really taking off and flying which is what I want to do without come to the edge is able to end is able to shift out of the way so that we can step into that infinite potential but the key here the key advice is the freedom of truth communicate honestly be who you truly are. Be you. Let other people be them. You be you. Don't hold back, right? Now, that doesn't mean that you can, you know, be nasty to people, but don't hold back. You know, it's okay to speak your truth, but in a loving, respectful way. And if they don't like what they're hearing, that's okay. That's their problem, not yours. You communicate, right? This is also a card of teaching, uh, sharing, sharing news. Like he is, he is teaching those pupils that in front, but he's also learning from them. Uh, I'm opening up here to the freedom that the truth gives me. The truth will set you free, okay? So... As we come into the months, you are very much in this hermit energy, which is you shining a light on what it is you want. You do you in your truth. What is it I want? What's important to me? Where am I going? Um, where is my potential? Am I really embracing my potential or am I holding back? Because underneath there is that Eight of Swords, which is the card of I feel stuck and trapped and a bit scared and I don't know and I'm not sure and I don't know what to do. Right, so we've got to get rid of that by having in your foundation here this new perspective. The Ace of Swords is a new clarity, a new focus. As I bring that attention into myself, the Hermit energy, that is a very me energy, right? What do I want? What do I need? What's holding me back? Am I living my best life? Am I living my life to my best potential? What is holding me back? Can I be really clear and be honest with myself in a truthful way so that I can transform that Eight of Swords that's holding me back? Now, the Four of Swords next to the Hermit, this is a card of contemplation, thoughtfulness, consideration of what I want. And the Four of Swords is a card of rest, retreat, meditation, allowing yourself to take a step back so that you can see clearly. As you take a step back, then the view starts to come into focus of, right, I can see what I need to do. And what I am needing is to step into my Queen of Wands energy, male or female, don't worry about the gender. This is an energy of me trusting in my dreams, my faith, my self-belief, my confidence. She's assertive, she's bold, she doesn't allow fears to hold her back. That's what's deep in your foundation, the ability to push through that whatever was blocking you, you'll say, nope, that's going to go because it's been holding me down, it's been holding me back. The Ten of Wands is overburdened, over responsibilities, just too much, too much, and it needs to go. It's a 10, so it's ready to go. It's ready to move out. Now, I want to look at these two cards here. The Four of Pentacles can be a card of lack, of worrying about spending any money, of uh, not just money, but generally just feeling, I don't know if I've got enough, whether that's enough love or care or support. It is acknowledging what you do have, which is great. There are four pentacles there, but a bit too scared to spend them. You know, I'll lock them in a block box where they'll be safe. It's like putting money in the bank uh, for a rainy day and then it's raining, but you don't want to spend it because well, I might need it for something else. This is a card that says, look, when we have faith and we have trust, that there's plenty more where that came from, that all my needs are always met. I can stop holding on too tightly and I can release my grip and get into that energy of receptivity because I'm building something here for the future. 
I am building something that I know will bear fruit. It might take a little while, you know, it might not come in till the autumn or it might come in in a few weeks time, but I'm building something here. This is patience and timing and waiting for the right time. And while I'm waiting, it has felt like a heavy burden because I want it now. But we want to transform that because as we are in that heavy frustrated energy or that stuck energy that's what holds us stuck there but if you can instead focus on it it's all the seeds are kind of growing underneath it's all going to blossom at the right time I totally trust that it'll all come to me when it's meant to come to me then it doesn't feel like a burden I don't have to get overstressed and overburdened by it I can just say it's all going to come when the time is right and in the meantime I'm open to receiving and in my potential things are growing and blossoming and I completely trust it now let's have a look at money and career take all of this in as well so we have the faith card which is the hierophant now the, this is a beautiful card when we're looking at money, career, business, because when we have faith to achieve abundance here, then we are in that energy of receiving back to the receptivity of that good stuff to come towards us. For those of you in business to get that prosperity going, ten of coins, the clients come in, the contracts come in, whatever it is that you're needing. But we're being asked to look at crossroads, right? Look at a different direction, take a fork in the road. Maybe I need to look at some other ways of doing things because the two of ones is the world wanting to open up. There's a key there for me. The keys are here to my own success and prosperity. Now the faith card is also commitment and contracts. So we are really committed to making this happen and being prepared to open up and do it differently and try something new, to come to the edge, particularly in business, come to the edge, allow yourself to try it differently. Like with me opening it up to join paid membership. I've never done that before. I don't know how it's going to go, but I'm coming to the edge and giving it a go. We need to try new things. So those of you in the workplace wanting to go for perhaps a bigger project, a promotion, something more secure and stable, get in that energy of you are in your potential, you're open to receive. Be yourself. Don't say what you think they want you to say or what you think they want to hear. Just be you. Do you. That is what transforms everything and opens you up to truly being in your potential. Lovely. All right, Leo, that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate your time on my channel. Have an amazing May, and I'll see you for the weekly collective readings, which go out generally on a Friday. Have a lovely month. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.